Hi, this is G1. In this demo, I am going to show XAP workflow, which is developed for like uh, case management. First, I will show the flowchart for this workflow. So you will come to know that how the workflow, the flow looks like. This is <coughs> initially the user will start a workflow. There is a two kind of workflows. One is a case workflow we have, and one is a one task workflow. So user can create a directly case workflow and assign the case to the some particular user. Or second approach, user can create a case by assigning the tasks also. If you already assign the task, the task workflow is different. For example, you assign the ten tasks, the ten sub workflows will be created for your main case. So once all the ten tasks completed. Once all the ten tasks are completed, so the it the task comes to the main workflow will be triggered automatically. The main main workflow will be resumed. So once the main workflow is resumed, the user go and complete the main workflow. So there is a case workflow. Main workflow is nothing case workflow. The sub workflow is nothing but a task workflow. Okay. Here you can see the three tabs. My case. So, which tab have like uh, what are the cases you created, which will be located here? My queue. This is a, like your inbox. All the tasks will be available in the my queue tab. This list. And if you go to common queue, it is a queue. All the queue tasks will be available here. User can go here. The authorized user can go here and acquire the task from here. Once you acquire, the task will comes to your my queue. This is how it's the UI level. Okay, I'm going to create a case first. There is an initiate case, initiate a new case. So this will we have only one workflow. The case workflow will be triggered from this page. So I select the what is the case category. So if you want to select the queue, common queue, you can select the common queue from here. Okay, this is a for example test case. You can enter any data timing. So in the bottom, you can see you can add also add the documents to the case. I'm going to add from local one of the document from local my local. This one of the document I am adding to the workflow from my local machine. And also I want to add one more document from the repository. I click on add. I am going to add one document from the repository. So I am going to add this document from the repository. Now my workflow. I have added two document. This is the document one. This is document two. Even you can see the you can add comments on the document also. You select this document. If you want any comments, you can add the comments to the document. So once you select the document, now you can see the comments. See this is once you select this document, the bottom you can see the comments. All the comments. Who commented on this document and what is the document version, etc. Information. You click on this icon, it the document will be auto launch. So now I'm going to create a case. There is a two options: either you can assign the task directly, or you can create first case. The next performer will assign the tasks. So I'll go up with the create option first. So it will go to the common queue first. This is my common queue. Once the common queue performer logins, he can see the task from the common queue. My task was created. We got a success message. So I log out. I log in with the common queue user.
I also got a uh, email notification that is the task is sent it to common queue. So this is my task. This is a case task actually. So because the tasks are not split at it, is a test case. We provided the subject and all this information is available here. When was the creation date? What is the due date? All this information and with the custom information also. Once you select this case, in the bottom you can see the all the case related information. The overview. So what is the, all the information, high level information. Once you go and acquire this case from the common queue, you will see in the bottom you can see some options. Now you can assign the tasks to this case, particular case related tasks. In the reference doc, if you go and receive in the reference docs, see, you can see the reference docs which is attached to this case. Even you can also, as a, as a performer, you can also add more documents to this case. If you go to audit trial, you can see the what is the history for this case. Okay, the case was created, now it's in progress, the case was acquired, something like information. Now I'm going to assign the task for this case. So assume that I have selected case category, right? While I'm creating the case, I have already selected the case categories. So for this category, these are the task types. So this is a dynamic actually. We based on the category, we are returning from the custom tables. So you can select the performer. So this is my first task assigned to this particular performer. Okay, you click on add item. So I'm going to select second task. You can create how many tasks you want and you can select different performers. This is my task 2. Task 2 task is nothing but sub workloads. Again, it will create these two sub workloads and send it to the respective users along with the documents and all the case information. Now you click on finish. Now the case, the particular task was completed, case related task was completed. Now two tasks was created. Now if you log out and log in as a performer, you can see these those two tasks. I'm logging as a performer. See in my queue says so this is one two one eight hyphen one. This is a first task for this case. This is a task two for this case. Two tasks was created. I will open first task. So that you can go and acquire. So before you acquire, if you go to this reference doc, you cannot add the documents until unless you acquire the task first. Remaining information you can see what is the audit trial, task related audit trial, all this information. You click on acquire. So the now task is acquired. So once your task acquired, you can complete. If you want to like request for more info for this, you can send it for request for more info. So it will send back to the requester. If you reroute, for example, you are on leave, so you want to be off of you, someone you want to complete this task, you can reroute to someone else. Or you did something, for you added some documents and you want to save, just save and close, you can open it back and you can complete the task. Time being, I'm just completing the. So this is some information, you click on finish. Now the task one, this is a hyphen one, right, 218 hyphen one, this is the task one, it's going to complete now. So I'm going to complete the two tasks. The task one is completed. Now I'm going to complete second task also. You click on second task from the result list. You click acquire. I'm going to complete this one also. Now two tasks are completed. So initially the requester created the case. Now the team lead assigned the two tasks to the performer. Now the two uh, the performer completed two tasks. Now all the tasks are completed. So based on our workflow, now the case will be triggered. The case will be sent it to the requester saying that okay, all the tasks are completed. Now if you log in as a requester, sorry. 
ke lage and the request hai. in my cases you can see the what is happening for this case so under my cases but so all the tasks are completed the case comes to your my queue and anyway, i'll show from the my case first so as a requester i want to know this this is our case this is our case right so in the bottom you can see see the task info the two tasks were created right task 1 and task 2 and two task status are completed so you can see the user entered remarks also here when he completing the task he may enter some instruction or some comments like remarks you can see 1 and 2 we entered 1 and 2 when completing the tasks so if you want to add more tasks you can even instantly you can add the more tasks that means of workloads to this particular case from my cases you can see any options the action items like complete this case and etc information so once all the tasks are completed meaning it's available in the my queue if you go to my queue see this was the requester task that it's saying that all tasks are completed now I have to complete the case so if you come to the bottom you can see the options either you can complete or reroute in behalf of you you can send it to someone else or you can save this case okay i'm going to complete the case you can't finish now the two tower some workflows are completed and main workflow also completed now if you go and search for this case now you can just i'm going to just search so this is one my case 218 so you can see the all the information okay what is the status okay it was completed completed two tasks are completed now in the overview the case status also it's a completed you can see here the case status got completed you go audit trial you can see the audit trial all the information like case created case acquired and case tasks were assigned task assigned task assigned task acquired task completed and second task acquired, second task completed, all tasks completed and case completed. In the reference docs, you can see the reference docs also. This is generally the XCP workflow with designed in the XCP. So you can see in the technical stuff in the next video. This is my main workflow. All lot of auto activities are there to meet our business requirement. And we have a sub workflow also here. So where the, I told you right, task workflows, these are the sub workflows. So this workflow completes, it will go back to the case workflow. Okay, thank you for watching this video. In next demo, I will show the technique, how to configure all these things. Please do subscribe. Thank you.